Welcome to Hard Hat Workshop. My name is Pan, and today we're not doing a normal episode like woodworking or 3D modeling. Today we're doing something with Legos and COVID-19. We're doing something to help with it. So this is a thing that you can do on your own. You don't need anything special. You just need Legos and this power function kits. So I found this power function kits I got from like an old project. So I just took it from that and I built this frame. So this is a banknote sterilizer. Banknotes get handed out every day to many people. So during the COVID-19 pandemic, you might want to use this sanitizer because the banknotes can be touched by anyone. And you don't know who. So um, I finished building this wall. Just gonna finish completing by finish the, these um, parts. This is how the sterilizer actually works. So I have Thai bot right here. So I'm gonna turn on the sterilizer like that. The lights come on. Then you have this motor. So I'm gonna toggle it to input the feed. You feed your banknotes right here. And then turn it on. Works like magic. Okay, so now you might ask, how do you sanitize it? So I'm going to take it out first, just like that, easy. So how I'm going to sanitize it is using these LEDs. They're not normal LEDs though, they're UVC LEDs. Let me turn this off first. So I connect them to a router 12 volt thing, so you can just plug it in. I bought this off um, an online shop because we're supposed to stay home. So connect it to the plug and you should not look at this for a long time because it could really damage your eyes. I'm wearing sunglasses right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's turned on. I'm gonna turn on it for just a while because it's not just the purple light that can affect your eyes but I'm wearing sunglasses so that is taken care of but it's also the radiation you can get from it. Just gonna turn it on very quick. There, you can see it and I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, safety first. Okay, so how this is gonna work is I'm gonna, ha I have this hole right here in the wall of the Lego box. So the wire is gonna run right here out to the plug. And when the wire comes in here, I'm gonna wrap the LED strip around this wall on the inside, back here, and then here. So now I went ahead and used the speed square to make sure the lines were straight and then I made the, this scrap wood that I'm going to use to cover up this whole area. It's just perfect enough that it hangs out the ledge a bit but that's fine. Um, I may trim it off later if I really want, don't want the ledge. So now I'm going to go cut it. Be back in a second. So I've gone ahead and cut this down to length but then this has done this. So I'm thinking about keeping the overhang but then I don't really want to because of the size. So I'm just gonna maybe cut it down to one Lego stud down so that I can put something to hold it down. Oh and by the way on the back I'm using these L things so that I can support the back part of the plate. Now when you do this, you don't really see. I'm gonna turn off the lights. I'm gonna wear my safety glasses. And I'm gonna turn it on for you. So, you don't really see the light, but then if you turn on like to the left side of the thing, you can see it like in the camera angle. But, so I'm gonna try to fix that using some sealant on the edges. So, let, let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll come back and give you guys an update. So an 
update here. Um, I tried sealing up one side. That did pretty well. I think I'm gonna do the other side now. So now I think we're done with the sealing on the sides. So as you see, when I place them on, I have to use two small holders right here thingy. And then I'm just gonna place it on. Now it works perfectly. Now, even from the camera angle, you can't see the UVC lights. See? They all get diffused by the sealant. That's very good. So now, let's move on to the next step. Installing these... Oops, sorry, I forgot all about this. So I coated the back underside of the top panel with aluminum foil so that the UVC reflects on itself that doesn't radiate out to people. So now I'm just gonna paint it up with the original Hard Hat Workshop color. Permanent Yellow Deep. So there we go. Acrylic. out from the reel so now it's just this much so when I plug it in it just turns on like normal but now I, I also painted the cover and then made a decal so now it fits right over right here like yesterday right there just like that and something I added to last night was this um, flappy cover so that the UV light doesn't come out from the inside but then the banknotes still can come out. Like that, you can push them in like normal. So when, when you turn it on, it's, it's just like yesterday. It 
except now it's, there's no light in the reel which is good because there's too much light and we don't want that. I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm gonna just do a demonstration of how this is actually gonna work. So turn it on, the little white light comes on and you can extrude it out. So now I have my dirty banknotes that I just got from a 7-Eleven or whatever. And now I'm gonna put it inside the machine to disinfect it. So I'm not gonna turn on the UV light just yet. You just have to put the banknotes in first so it doesn't damage it. And then you turn it on, you stand away a bit, and then you wait for 20 seconds or so, longer if you need. So fast forward, and then I turn it off, and then I can extrude it back out. Now I have clean banknotes that are safe, and if you want to make this, I highly recommend it because it's easy to make with some um, materials you might already have, such as Lego. You can even make this out of cardboard and a motor. You can just purchase like these kind of motors too. I have, but I decided to use the Lego because it's easier, quick connects and stuff. And the uh, UV LED lights you can just purchase of uh, the online stores like Amazon and Lazada. So that's it. I really like this and I hope you can make it to help with the COVID-19 pandemic from spreading. But you can still use this even for other purposes. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.